Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Heather and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Tello EDU drone so that you can program it using Scratch 2 programming in 10 easy steps. So by the end of this video, you will be able to set up your computer to communicate with your Tello EDU drone so that you can send it commands and fly your drone from Scratch 2. So what I did was I put all the instructions in this blog post. I will link to it in the description below. You can go to heathermonthy.com and find it there as well. Um, you can uh, click on it in the link below and bring it, it will bring you right to the description or the instructions. So I suggest just following along this video and following along with the instructions and pausing the video as you need to, you're going to need to download things, install things. And so go ahead and just pause the video as you need to and work through the instructions alongside me. So the first step in order to set up Tello to communicate with Scratch on your computer, the first thing you need to do is download the Scratch 2 offline editor. Now, I am recording this video in February of 2020, and the current version of Scratch programming on MIT's website is Scratch 3. You need to use Scratch 2 in order to program your Tello EDU drone. You can have both versions installed on your computer. I have both installed on mine and they work just fine alongside each other. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and click on this link. It's going to bring you right to scratch.mit.edu slash download slash scratch two. And there you can download the files to install the scratch offline editor right here. Okay. The, if you are using a Mac computer, you need to download Adobe Air first. So you can download that here as well. And then you can install the Scratch offline editor. <clears throat> so after you have it downloaded and installed, you're going to download node.js. And as of February 2020, when I am recording this, the recommended version is 12.14.1.lts. I've tried that version. It seems to work just fine for me. So you can go ahead and download that. Step number three is to download this specific zip file from Rise Robotics. And this file, if you just click on that link, it's gonna bring down, it's gonna download the files for you. That zip file is going to contain all the files needed to communicate with your Tello EDU from your computer. And it's also gonna contain all the code blocks that are needed in Scratch for you to program your Tello. So the next step four here is now that you've downloaded all the necessary files, you need to open up Scratch 2 on your computer. And I have it open right here. It looks just like this. Step number five, we need to install the code blocks that we downloaded in step three. So what we're going to do is we're gonna hold down the shift key and then we're going to click on file and import experimental HTTP extension. So you can see here, I have a screen, a screen grab for you here. If I come over to the Scratch 2 offline editor and I don't press the shift key while I'm clicking on file, I don't have that option there, okay? So what I have to do is I have to hold down the shift key and so I'm pressing it and holding it down. I click on file and now I've got that option there, import experimental HTTP extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna bring me to my downloads folder where I downloaded the Scratch files. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the tello.s2e file. So I click on that and then open. And what I need to do next, I need to click right here on more blocks. And you can see I've got all the different code blocks that are going to work with my Tello EDU drone. Notice right here, it says Tello control and it is red. And that just means that we are not currently connected to the Tello drone. So I've got some screen grabs here for you to uh, follow along as well. Step number six, we need to run the script that we downloaded to set up the Tello EDU to communicate with your computer via Scratch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt and the screen is gonna look very similar to this. So I'm just gonna go ahead right here and type CMD and hit enter. And it opens up a command prompt for me. 
The next step is to open Windows Explorer and we're gonna to navigate to the scratch files that you downloaded. So for me, it's in the downloads folder. Um, yours might be as well, but you'll need to determine where you downloaded those. So if I go to Windows Explorer, I've got my different uh, scratch files that I downloaded. All I have to do is I can click in the navigation pane here and it gives me the path of where those files are. So all I have to do is right click on it and click copy. And then I go back to my command prompt and I type CD for change directory, hit the space bar. And then all I need to do is right click. It fills it in for me. And then I hit enter. So you can see it changed from the C users Heather Monthy directory to C users Heather Monthy downloads scratch directory. So the next step here is in step nine, we just did step eight. In step nine, we're going to type node tello.js and press enter. And that is going to start the service that we need in order to connect to the Tello from the computer. So I'm gonna type node tello.js and hit enter. And you will get this message along with an IP address. That's exactly what we want there. And then in step 10, it's time to connect your computer to the Tello EDU through Wi-Fi. So what you're going to do is open up your Wi-Fi settings um, and you uh, should see your Tello EDU Wi-Fi as long as you have it turned on. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Tello right now. One thing I have noticed is that these are a little finicky sometimes when it comes to the Wi-Fi. So you can see that the lights are blinking here. And so what I'm gonna do is go over to my Wi-Fi settings. And I pick up everybody's Wi-Fi around here. And you can see my Tello right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and connect. So now I'm connected to my Tello. You're not gonna have internet. You're just connected to your Tello using Wi-Fi. And then what you can do is you can go back over to your scratch. You can see here now that I have a green light, which means I am connected to the Tello. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a couple different events. So I'm going to say when the space bar is pressed, we are going to take off. And then when the L key is pressed, we're going to land. All right. So you always, whenever you create some uh, a program for your Tello, you always want to start up, make sure you have a takeoff and make sure you have a land command so that you can um, essentially abort your program at any time that you need to. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar. And you can see that my drone has taken off. And then when I press the L key, it lands. So there you go. You can play around with all the different code blocks and all the different commands. And uh, I urge you just to try it out, have some fun, make sure you're safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.